Hello. Welcome back to Spell's Classroom. Today in class, we're going to learn about the year 1991 and some of the events that happened um, throughout the world. So, I hope that you enjoy this lesson. Um, so, kind of to start off, we're going to talk about the cost of living in the USA. So, in the USA, it's the cost of living. Um, the average cost of a house was about 120, or sorry, no, 70,000. Um, and the average income per year was about 29,000. And then average cost of a new house was 120,000. Um, a gallon of gas cost a dollar and twelve cents. A pound of bacon was a dollar ninety-five cents. Uh, a dozen of eggs was eighty-five cents. And um, so in the UK, it was different. Um, the average house price was about seventy pounds, and a gallon of petrol was. 205, and then the inflation rate in the UK was 5.9%. Um, so that's just kind of some of the information on that. Um, next, what we're going to do is just talk about some major events in the world. Um, so the first country that we're going to talk about is Kuwait and Operation Desert Storm, United Nations, force led by the United States and including Arab and European countries. Um, Iraq forces in Kuwait and after a month of bombing land invasion forces Iraq forces out of Kuwait and back to Iraq. So Iraq invades Kuwait under the leadership of Saddam Hussein in August of 1990 and attempts to annex the country and the U.S. and the NATO placed troops in Saudi Arabia in what was known as the Operation Desert Shield. In November of 1990, the UN authorizes the use of force against Iraq, and they did not withdraw from Kuwait by January 15, 1991. So Iraq refuses to leave, and a U.S.-led attack begins mid-January of 1991 in what was known as Operation Desert Storm. So ground forces attack in southern Iraq and Kuwait during February of 1991 in Operation Desert Sabre. U.S. President George H.W. Bush declares a ceasefire in the conflict by the end of February after Kuwait was liberated and Iraq agreed to honor the terms of peace. So that's just a little bit of information and backstory on the Gulf War. Um, so next we're going to talk about um, the United Nations, the UN. So the United Nations Security Council passes the Ceasefire Agreement, Resolution 687. The resolution called for the destruction or removal of all Iraq's chemical and biological weapons and for an end to its support for international terrorism. Iraq accepts the terms of the resolution on April 6th and UN authorizes weapons inspections in Iraq. So, next we're going to talk about Russia. So, Russia, Boris. Yeltsin wins the first free elections for Russia's first popularity elected president. Um, in Bangladesh, a cyclone in Bangladesh kills uh, around 200,000 people. So now um, on to the United States. So the United States started a treaty with the Soviet Union and they started the START treaty. So START Treaty, just a little bit more information on that. The United States and Soviet Union agree to the START-1 Treaty during July of 1991. 
U.S. President George H.W. Bush and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev both signed the treaty, agreeing to reduce the number of nuclear warheads each country had to 7,950. Negotiations over the agreement began in 1982, so they were going on for nine years, um, with President Reagan, but were held up several times due to conflicts. After the treaty was signed in 1991, several other START agreements were negotiated, limiting nuclear weapons between the two countries even further. START 1 came in effect in 1984, with both sides adhering the limits of time, and it expired in 2009. So, next we're going to talk about United States and Canada and the Air Quality Agreement. Um, so, the United States-Canada Air Quality Agreement became effective immediately after it was signed by Canadian Prime Minister um, Mulroney and United States President Bush. So, during March, um, it was known as the Acid Rain Treaty and it was created to address the issues associated with transboundary air pollution and over time has reduced the amount of acid rain associated with the problem. The agreement mandated the reduction of sulfur dioxide and nit nitrogen oxide emissions, which could lead to the creation of acid rain in Canada and the United States. So, a little bit more information on that, um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about, um, India now. So, India, 50% of the Indian population was living at or below the poverty line in 1991. Um, and Prime Minister, the Indian Prime Minister, Raj Gandhi is uh, was assassinated on May 21st, 1991. Um, in Israel, the Dead Sea Scroll um, was un unveiled. In Libya, uh, the UN sanctions imposed against Libya in response to alle alleged involvement in the Lockerbie bombing. In South Africa, the referendum in South Africa supports the creation of a new constitution for a multi multicultural society, and um, the old one was dismantled. So, Canada introduced the Canadian Goods and Service Tax, the GST, in, uh, which was just a national sales tax in 1991. Um, another thing about South Africa that I forgot to mention, um, Winnie Mandela, the wife of Nelson Mandela, uh, was given a six-year prison sentence on May 14th for her part in the kidnap of four youths. Um, Yugoslavia, Slovenia, and Croatia declare independence from Yugoslavia, and they start the Balkan War um, with the European Union. So, single European market lifts trade restrictions within the EEC, and the um, treaty opens the way for a closer political union. Um, Ethiopia, the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, and 17 years of Marxist rule in Ethiopia. In Italy, um, there was a earthquake in northern Italy, which was on 7.0. Scale, so 2,000 people passed away from that. In Pakistan, there was also a really large earthquake. Um, it was 6.8. It was near the border of Pakistan and Afghanistan. In Poland, Lecha, or sorry, Lech Walesa, the Polish workers' president, um, was elected the president of Poland in 1991. In Australia, Robert Maxwell um, was found floating in the sea. He had fallen off his yacht. Shortly after his death, the Maxwell Empire faces bankruptcy. In Indonesia, um, 
forces opened fire on a crowd in the Santa Cruz Cemetery, killing an estimated 250 East um, protesters. In Japan, there was a typhoon, Typhoon Ina, which struck um, Western Japan with 80 miles per hour winds. In the United Kingdom, uh, Freddie Mercury, Mercury, the lead singer of the band Queen, issues a public statement confirming that he was stricken with AIDS, and the next day he died of complications. Birmingham Six released in the UK in 1991. Um, the poll tax that was introduced in 1990 um, was eliminated and replaced with an alternative. And the Soviet Union cracked down on Lithuania, who were attempting to gain independence from the Soviet Union. Um, in Lebanon, journalist Terry Anderson was released after seven years in captivity as a hostage in Beirut. Uh, Terry Walt, the special envoy of Archbishop of Canterbury is released after more than four years of captivity. In Russia, um, Mikhail Gorchmov resigns as the president of the Soviet Union, and the Soviet Union officially ceases to exist in 1991. Uh, the Warsaw Pact, the military alliance between the Soviet Union and Eastern European neighbors ends. The following countries all gain independence when the Soviet Union breaks up. So Uzbekistan, Tashkent, Kyrgyzstan, um, Ukraine, Moldova, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Estonia. Um, and then there was also an attempted communist coup in the Soviet Union suppressed, but it sparks declarations of independence from all non-Russian republics within the USSR by the end of the year. Um, USSR is dissolved and independence of republics is recognized. So, more about the US. So, the US and the Soviet Union signed the treaty that we talked about earlier. A uh, 911 emergency number was tested in northwestern cities. Uh, Macedonia gains independence from former former U.S. postal worker Joseph Harris um, killed his former girlfriend and her fiance and two former co-workers at the post office in Ridgewood, New Jersey, which resulted in the phrase "going postal." Mike Tyson was arrested. Jeffrey Dahmer was arrested on July 22nd in Milwaukee. Um, Lou, a student um, at the University of Iowa, went on a shooting rampage, killing five people at the University of Iowa campus. Um, 70 tornadoes break out in the central United States, killing 17 people. The Dow Jones average topped 3,000 for the first time. Uh, fires in the hills of Oakland, California burned thousands of homes and killed 25. Um, so that's just some of the events. Um, another interesting thing about 1991 was the NASA STS-44 space mission. Um, so NASA launched the STS-44 mission during November. And the space shuttle Atlantis carried astronauts Frederick Gregory, Terence Hendricks, James Voss, F. Story Musgrave, Mario Rugo, and Thomas Hennon. It was a Department of Defense mission which had the primary objective of deploying a defense support program satellite. The payload also include, included several experiments. It concluded after nearly seven days in space, and the crew returned to Earth successfully after landing in the Edwards Air Force Base in California. So technology, there was a huge growth in that in 1991. So the internet um, was made available to unrestricted commercial use, and number of computers on the net reached one million. Um, 
Linus Torvalds released the first version of Linux operating system kernel. The American Galileo spacecraft makes its closest approach to 951 Caspra, becoming the first probe to visit an asteroid. Microsoft releases MS 5.0 Blue Roses, produced by Genetic Engineering, came out. Um, the ice covering the Arctic had decreased by 2%. The tropical rainforest had shrunk by 1%. Tim Berners-Lee introduced the web browser in 1991, so um, some cool inventions. Um, let's see, actually let's talk about popular culture. Um, we'll come back to inventions. So with the release of Nirvana's Nevermind uh, album signify the start of the grunge era that would dominate the music um, all the way up to the mid-90s. Some popular films in the 1990 and 1991 were Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, The Silence of the Lambs, Hook, The Addams Family, Sleeping with the Enemy, Father of the Bride, The Naked Gun, Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear, Beauty and the Beast, Backdraft, Beethoven, Thelma and Louise, and some popular television shows are 60 Minutes, CBS, Roseanne, ABC, Murphy Brown, CBS, Cheers, Home Improvement, Designing Women, Full House, Murder She Wrote, Major Dad, and Coke. Regarding sports in 1991, so NBA, um, the Chicago Bulls, and the LA Lakers were 4-1. Um, Super Bowl was New York Giants versus Buffalo Bills, and the score was 20-19. to The Stanley Cup was the Pittsburgh Penguins versus Minnesota North Stars. 4-2 um, was the score. And... And popular musicians. No, oh, there was a lot in 1995. So, Pearl Jam, Whitney Houston with All the Man That I Need, Michael Jackson with Black and White, Queen, Brian Adams with Everything That I Do, I Do For You, Erasure, Marlillen, Phil Collins, Guns N' Roses, Mariah Carey, Metallica, Amy Grant, Beverly Craven, Cher, Gloria Estefan, R.E.M., Janet Jackson, Extreme, Boys 2, um, U2, Van Halen, The Clash, Paul Abdul, Billy Bragg, Garth Brooks, Nirvana. So those are some of the popular musicians. Um, some of the popular U.S. food and beverages were Arizona iced tea, bagel bites, beefaroni, cap Capri Sun, chicken Caesar salad, Elio's pizza, frozen corn dogs, Gordon Gordon's fish sticks, Hawaiian punch, high sea fruit drinks. Um, and um, so next we're going to talk about some of the toys and kind of cool collectibles in, the, in 1991. So the Super Nintendo Entertainment System came out, and that was uh, kind of some picture of it. But it was $199, um, but the graphics had improved a lot for that time. So the description, you know, it was $199, and was a full digital stereo sound um, with wonderful graphics, um, huge characters, over 30,000 colors to choose from to your video screen, and it came alive, um, which was really new um, in that time. So Mario was able to move um, in and around and behind objects, and the music was there as well, so it Definitely something new and really um, interesting for that time. 
another thing that was popular was uh, the mermaid doll. So that was a popular toy as well. Um, so this was $29.99, $19.91. So it was just Little Mermaid would sing a song, and if you hogged her, she would sing a song. But also, if you put Little Mermaid in the water, she changes colors. So another fun toy was the laundry center. So this was forty nine ninety nine for this. Um, it's just a sturdy one piece unit um, that comes with a top load washer and dryer and you can see through the windows as well it's supposed to simulate an actual wash cycle and it also has a fold down another thing that was really popular in 1991 was autographed baseballs so you could choose from the greatest names of baseball um, and all baseballs were signed with a blue ballpoint pen right on the sweet spot each is delivered in a clear plastic protective covering mounted on a wooden base. Um, the name of the player will be is etched on a metal name plate, um, and then you get a certificate of authenticity. And those ranged from thirty nine ninety nine to eighty nine ninety nine. Um, so another popular toy was the high voltage highway, which was around fifty two dollars. And it was just uh, an ultra speed formula where a car could conquer this electrifying challenge. So it took all the power that it had and kind of mustered it into vertical inclines and loops um, and curves. Um, so I don't have a picture of that though. But yeah, that's all that I have for the year 1991. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and we'll continue with 1992